hi everyone many of you ask me about the procedure that is how how you import an air file sketch or air file coordinate into a into your fusion 360 CAD software so let's discuss about this in to, uh, in this video i have ordered the ordered the procedure to import an air file uh, sketch or uh, sketch into a fusion 60 in four four steps the first step is to, is to is that First, choose the perfect error field that is needed for your application or uh, the plane you have uh, you want you are designing in Fusion 60 or any other CAD files. So I have uh, the there are some websites I have I I, I prefer personally to for choosing a, a correct error file and right error file for your project. So uh, those websites are airfiletools.com. Uh, knock on some NOS websites. So uh, in this video, I have I will show you how to import and uh, how to save a dat file in uh, air file dat file from uh, airfilestool.com website. So just go into Google Chrome and search about and enter the keyword air airfiles airfiles tools so uh, uh, i want to i have already chosen my my air file that is a clark y clark y air file so the, this one is a flat bottomed air file so uh, the clark y air file uh, this is the file that I, I had chosen for my project. So we we will search this the this Clark key Y Clark Y air file in airfilestool.com. So in airfile.com go to search menu search option search for Clark Y Y and press enter. Oh, this is the air file that I have we are looking for. So sorry, select the option and uh, the next thing you have to you will you have to uh, do is to save the dat file. So what is the what is means that dat file? Dat file is a data file which has the co coordinates uh, of the x and y coordinate or x and y coordinates of the air file splines or uh, graphs. So uh, next if uh, next uh, I have chosen my air file next thing we have to do the next step the step two is after you have chosen the air file copy the dat file so there's a uh, details next to details there's a dat file toggle uh, drop down list menu so so just select select all so just I uh, have and press control plus a i select oh sorry i select the clear coil and select the entire coordinates and control plus l press and copy that and next i i open the notepad and paste that that file coordinates into the notepad uh, there's one uh, one there's one thing you should watch for look for is so many of you many of them uh, only a copy and uh, copy and uh, many of them only uses that this coordinate in uh, coordinates uh, set that file in fusion 60 uh, the special add-ins which, which works uh on exactly about this uh, what is the air file name with that it it takes the uh, it takes the library from that there are lots of li libraries loaded into that add-ins so uh before uh, after uh pasting uh after pasting this uh, air file coordinates into a notepad then just save that file as that file so that file means um save that file as file name as whatever you are uh, i know i'm um, so 
a flat i'm using a i'm choose the flat, the air file that i have chosen is a flat type of flat bottom uh, air file so i choose flat b and and choose the save as type as all files and and the extension is dot dat it did it represents that the file is saved in a data format so uh, file location new volume to fusion 60 to images i save that file in okay save so i cross check that uh, whether the the dat file is saved or not so okay i'm going to fusion 60 images this is flat b that file i saved it as that file so uh, we have completed the two steps then third step is how uh, the third is the important step uh, how uh, this third this third third step uh, uh, will help us to import an air file that uh, that file that file into an uh, fusion ssd so for uh, let's switch on to fusion ssd open and Mm. and switch to tools to uh, switch to uh, that's a fresh uh, uh, home page uh, in that switch uh, toggle to uh, tools to add-ins press script and add-ins or press shift plus a shortcut key to access that uh, uh, script and add-ins in that uh, from my scripts select the app file that to spline uh special add-ins uh if you doesn't have installed uh yeah the special add-ins into your uh fusion 60 so we have we will so i will show how to how how to install that air, air file that to spline uh add-ins into uh, into your fusion 60 uh so first you I'll find tools and select the drop down add ins and select, select Fusion 360 App Store. Uh, the web, web page is uh, open, it's like a uh, normal Play Store or a Chrome, Chrome Store, like that. For uh, especially for Fusion 360, there are special uh, now numerous number of uh, add ins which will help us to uh, help us to draw, uh, draw gears in, in, in a in much easier way so the adding that we are going to use is the air file dad file so i will search for the air file air file and press enter uh, then you see that this yellow this yellow air file dad to spline uh, add-ins so select that that is that is free and select windows 64 i am currently using a windows so on download that and you can i have, I have already installed in my uh, pc so you have download and install uh, and set up the uh, that file next uh, next is uh, next um, now we now we import uh, now we installed that that file in uh, that that file into uh, special add in that file uh, add in into our pc so next step I, I, we are going to see is uh, uh, switch to Fusion 60 and select uh, solid to uh, select and press the uh, shortcut key or use uh, tools to uh, add-ins to special add-ins. Uh, now I am pressing a shift plus yes shortcut key to run this script. So in a, when the script and add-ins dialog box open, select that air file that to spline uh special add-ins and run that script uh, uh this uh after that the air file parameters it has uh, the country is it, it's asked for the plane where the, where should be the our uh our air file should be placed so i select that uh, i select the xz plane and uh, I have you can vary the chord so I have my the maximum root chord of my design is about to 80 
mm so it mm and i press ok and it prompt for the from prompt for us to choose the dat file so we have saved uh, saved uh, saved the uh, saved the dat file uh, flat b uh, in so uh, select that file and op click open and the air file coordinate is imported so this is the process of importing an air file into a fusion 360 catcam software thank you